Okay guys, welcome to my uh, lessons of mathematics. And today I want to do something of calculus. I'm in love with calculus guys. So I don't know, this expression you might not see very well, but it says f of x equals to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus y. Now, what, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to find the factors of a cubic function. Remember that when you see x cubed, you know that this is a cubic function. The function normally is in this nature. Uh, it has got three x intercept. One, two, three. And I will show you how to find those x intercept without using a long diffusion method, without using a synthetic method, and without using a k method. I just found something that a calculator can do. So I'm going to find the factors using the calculator. Uh, okay. So I'm going to say mode one, uh, mode, okay, three, mode, mode three. We're going to sketch the graph of f of x. And the first thing on our graph is x cubed. So we're going to say alphabet, let's say x to the exponent three plus, we are going to work as if we are sketching the graph, x squared minus x minus y then you say equals to then uh, the question is where do you want your graph to start i want to start at minus 10 where do you want the graph to end i want it to end at 10 the step let let's let it remain y so now i'm looking for the x intercept you can see here it's x here is f of x. So those x intercepts are those values of x where f of x is zero. Uh, let let's search. When my when x is minus nine, y is six foot. When x is minus eight, y is four four one. So we are looking for the value of x when y is zero. That will be the x intercept. So let's search. Uh, where are those x intercepts? Good. When x is minus 1, y is 0. So 1 of the value of x is minus 1. So you keep looking, looking for those values. When x is 1, y is 0. So another one is 1. And uh, another one, they must be 3. Okay, they are 2. In this case, I will assume that the graph is something like this. So these are, are our x-intercept. The graph normally has got a, uh, this, in this situation, the graph can be something like this, of this nature. It's, a, it's still a cubic function, but we have got only two x-intercepts. One, two. So, yes, one, two. What are the other one is minus one, and the other one is one. But we are not sure whether the turning point is at minus 1 or at 1. But for now, we know that the x-intercept is minus 1 and 1. So let me just calculate the turning point and see where does the graph turn. So when you calculate the turning point, you derive the function. You, you already found the x-intercept, guys, by using a calculator. Now let's find the turning point by deriving the function. So you say dy over dx equals to 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Hopefully you guys already know how to derive. If you don't know how to derive, go and check how we derive and, and also look at this uh, video. You'll see we're, uh, 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. We always derive when we are looking for the turning point. So I derived because I'm looking for the turning point. Again, at the turning point, dy over dx is always 0. At the turning point, dy over dx is always 0. So I'm going to say 0 because I'm looking the, for the turning point. dy over dx is 0, guys. Always when you are looking for the turning point, dy over dx is 0. 0 equals to 3x squared plus 2x 
minus 1. Now I will have to factorize the function. Uh, 0 equals 2. Hopefully this, this uh, uh, quadratic function can be factorized. If we cannot factorize, we use the quadratic formula. Let's see if we can factorize. Now I'm just doing psi and LMA for 3x and x is going to give me 3x squared. 1 and 1. Let me put positive negative. I, I'm just doing trial and error method. I just want to see 3x times x. I know it's going to give me 3x squared. 3x minus 1 uh, is going to be negative 3x. It's going to be negative. And if you look at the middle term, it should be positive. So if you say negative 3x plus x minus 1, these two values will give you negative 2x. You don't want negative 2x. So the this 3x will be positive. So let me put positive here and change this one to be negative. So 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 1 is positive 3x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So it's 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So these are the correct factors, guys. So you can see with the turning points, one of the turning points is when x is minus 1. It's when x is minus 1. You see, that when, when you see the graph touching the x-intercept or the x-axis twice, it means one of the intercept is also a turning point. It appears one, uh, I mean twice. Here, minus 1 is the turning point, and it's also the x-intercept. Guys, this is how you can find the, those x-intercepts using the calculator. Sketch the graph. Let me do it for the last time. f of x equals to alphabet x cubed plus alphabet x squared minus alphabet x minus 1. So the graph I want it to start at minus 10. I want it to end at 10. I want the step to be 1. And then I'm going to look for the x-intercept. Remember, x-intercept is when f of x is 0. You can see I'm looking for 0. Uh, I'm looking for 0. Minus 1 and 0. It means that one of the x-intercept is minus 1. I did not use a long division method. I did not use a... a, a a synthetic method or the k-method. I played very well with my cashew. And this is what I can do in the exam room. Find the x-intercept very easily. Look for those values of x when f of x is 0. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.